My band and I have been on the road with Jars of Clay since the end of January. So, you know, it's interesting because when I, you know, became a Christian and I was 20, I, um, I wasn't even really, uh, I didn't know anything about, like, that there was music, like, contemporary Christian music or music being recorded, being recorded by people who uh, were serious about their faith. And, and so one of the first CDs I'd heard was the first Jarrett's Clay record. And, it, you know, it gave me permission to kind of explore the same avenues and do the same things, I think, with my music. I think this tour has um, definitely been a, a great learning experience for me in terms of learning the sustainability of a long-term career as an artist who's touring. I mean, those guys have been touring for 15 years and um, still are in good relationship with each other and care about each other. And it's not perfect by any means, but I think um, they're, uh, I think a witness to that, to the power of community and being committed to each other and working together. And so I think that's been a real testimony to it. I'm at the end of an album cycle. I actually have a new album coming out this fall in September. And so uh, my band and I are anxious and excited to kind of have some time off to kind of really, you know, kind of get those songs under our belt and get ready to play them. And um, I think, um, you know, it's always an amazing thing to be traveling around the country and see how the songs you write, um, how they do impact people's lives. And uh, uh, I always say to people, it's like, you know, I feel like the ministry that happened for me was when I was writing the song. And the ministry that happens with other people when they sing it or when I sing it with them live, that's definitely something that God's doing. Because he's able to take something that I just wrote as a prayer or as an honest expression and then use it to help lift other people towards him. And so I'm constantly humbled and amazed by it. You know, I think some people would kind of think, think that, oh, well, that must go right to your head. And it's not. I think it's very, well, at least for me, it's very humbling because it makes me realize uh the importance of what I'm saying and what I'm doing and how I'm saying it. And I think it also reminds me of the humility of, of my own frailty of, I could never do that. I could never get a group of people to say the same thing, but God can, you know? And so um, that's what uh, these songs, you know, continue to do to me.